welcome to another tutorial from Software How To's. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you more features of Express Animate. And I'm actually going to load a video into Express Animate. And I'm actually going to load pictures into Express Animate instead of just using objects and shapes. So if you see here, I have a video of a drone, and then I have frames of the drone controller. So let's start by creating a new project in Express Animate. Click the new project button, and let's go full screen. So we can either drag and drop the files onto here, or we can click the load media button. Let's select all eight frames. Click open. All right, now we have all these frames in the composition. So Control A. And make them all a bit smaller. Just zoom in. Okay. make them all the same size. Now let's play it to make sure they're about the right length. Okay, that's way too long. Let's select them all again. And make them all a bit smaller. Okay, that should be good. Now let's hold control. Click on frame 1. Up here in the composition area. And drag all the frames forward. Do control again on frame 2. And keep doing the same thing. Alright, now I have all the frames one after the other. See how this looks. Nice, the throttle moves up. Okay, so now let's get frames 8 through 2, actually 7 through 2, and let's copy and paste them. Alright, now we want to do everything backwards so that the throttle moves down, so let's deselect 7 and keep moving them in front of each other alright, let's see how that looks throttle moves up and then down, nice not too bad, now just to show you how the child works the parent child frames let's select all of these just one and then you see here you can assign a parent so let's do from six assign parent and click frame seven so now this is parented under frame 7. This will just make it a little bit easier to read. So let's do that with all the frames, parent them under frame 7 at the top. That was the wrong frame 7. Oh, ignore that. My antiviruses are trying to kill each other. Almost there. Oopsies.
One other way you can assign the parent is just dragging it on top of frame 7 and puts it underneath. That's quicker and I probably should have done that. Alright, now we have all these parented under frame 7. So when you click on frame 7, it opens them all up. So if you click this little minus sign here, they're all gone, and you just have frame 7. And that selects all these frames, so it makes it much easier. So let's click on frame 7 and copy and paste it. Now we can drag all these new frames in front of the cursor. Let's move this up a bit so it's a little easier to see what we're doing. Alright. They're all in front of the cursor. And now, let's do that one more time. Let's move the cursor to the end of the second set of frames. Just right there. And let's move the third set in front of the cursor. Notice that I have the snap tool on so all the frames snap to the cursor or other objects. Alright, let's see how this looks. Let's go to the beginning and play it up and down and up and down and up and down. Not bad. That looks really good. Nice little animation there. Alright, so let's save our project so that we don't lose our all, all our hard work. And let's call this Joan Animation. Save it on the desktop as an express animate file.apj. Alright, now it's saved up here. Now let's load in the background, which is the drone video. You click open. Alright, now it's asked us to enable real time playback mode, which will make it so that we can hear audio. So, real time playback mode, you can see the audio right here. Now, notice that the video is over the controller. We want the controller over the video, so how you can do that is you can move it down a frame. You see I'm selected on it and see this green arrow, you can move the object down a layer. Not a frame, sorry, a layer. Oopsies. Or you can just drag down here. Track this down here. Right at the very bottom. Now the remote is above the video, which is what we want. Now let's make the video larger to cover the entire black canvas. So let's hover our mouse over one of these squares and hold shift and drag. Click down enable because we don't want to animate the video, it's just the background and drag it to that edge, and then do the same with the other side, and then it's matched up and covers completely the background. Alright, now let's select all of our sets of frames, and let's make a whole shift. Make it a little smaller. Alright, that looks like a good controller size. So let's drag this down here. Remember, these are all the frames. And let's put it in the corner here. Alright. Let's go to the editor here, click fit object's durations, now it'll fit the duration of the video, and now we've got it the proper length of the video. Now notice here, these are the frames, look under frame 7, the animation keys are a lot smaller, there's less of them, there was I believe 8 for objects, but there's only 5 for images, and notice here with the video, 
go all the way down here to the video. Open that up. There's different animation keys for the video as well. And if you're ever wondering how to hide an object, it's right here. Or to mute a video, you just click this, and it mutes it. And you can also enable solo. You can lock the object. Or click or drag to sign the parent. So let's move this up so it's easier to see. Let's look at our remote animation so far. Let's minimize drone video. All the way up here. Alright. So it lasts till about here. We have quite a bit more of the video to go. Let's go back here and watch it so far. And remember, the playback rate would be much better in the Xbox video. Nice landing. Alright. So. Let's duplicate all these sets of frames a lot more so that we can put the animation of the drone controller throughout that entire video. So let's copy all of these sets and D and move them in front of the others. I'm going to pause the video and start it again once I have finished doing this so the video will be a little shorter. All right. Now I have the remote lasting throughout the entire video. So there is a whole lot of stuff in this composition, all these frames, you just scroll down, and it takes a while to load. So let's just make everything under frame 7 up here. So, if we select that, go all the way down here, wait for it to load. Okay, unusually large school over there. Alright, let's hold shift, click here. Right now, all of these are selected. Now, put them underneath frame 7. There. Now, if I were to expand this, they're all underneath frame 7. Right, let's subtract that. Okay, that's a whole lot of frames. If you had made a GF before that, that probably would have been a lot smarter, but I'm just showing you how to use frames in Express Animate. Now let's export our video. I'm going to pause the video and start it again once it is done exporting. It's almost done exporting. Alright, now let's take a look at our drone animation here. Let's open it up. Not bad, we have a little drone animation in the bottom left corner of the video. So Express Animate can be used for many things like I mentioned before, but I find it especially useful for putting videos and picture overlays on the background. Hopefully you have found this helpful, thank you for watching, and if you did find it helpful, please do not forget to subscribe and like.